Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can make these uh, sections uh, from the previous tutorial and uh, extract the numbers, put them on the ground for nesting and make this for maybe for a laser cut or a CNC, whatever you want to make this. As you can see here, uh, I can uh, change the radius of the shape. If I put this movement to zero, this is the location on the intersection. And if I move them back, we're going to talk about that. We can use that for better visualization. Uh, also, we can move the numbers a little bit back for better visualization. There is a uh, domain start and domain end, which I'm going to explain. And that is going to uh, define uh, the height of this part versus the maximum which is this part for example if i bring this down and bring this up obviously it's going to be completely the opposite direction uh, another thing we can uh, control is the x size which is the width of this okay we can also control the sheet that we want to put these parts inside it. As you can see here, if I change the sheet, this is going to change the nesting of those parts and sections, as you can see here. Uh, we're also going to define a seed, which is going to optimize it for uh, better nesting, which I'm going to explain. Uh, another thing here is the location of these circles, which are going to be the section. If I bring back this movement to zero and take a look at it from top. You can see that we can uh, bring this uh, to the end or inside it. So if I bring it to near zero, it's going to go inside. And if I bring it outside, it's going to be somehow near this. So we're going to move around this line as you can see here. Another thing is that we can control the height of these parts. So for example, there are two multiplication I'm going to explain. This is the movement of the first part. And this is also the movement of the second part. We're going to explain that too. Obviously, we should have a thickness based on the material we want to make that from. So we can control that thickness too. And uh, that's it. Another thing that you can control is the size of the numbers. Obviously, we can... Uh, control the number of the size of these numbers here, as you can see here. And also the 3D, obviously we can change their size too. Bring this a little bit back. And that's it. Uh, at the end of this tutorial, I want to optimize it. So if I just change the sheet size to maybe even smaller, make this a little bit smaller and use the Galapagos to minimize it. I'm going to put that to initial boost of 10 so you can see the results, which I'm going to explain and finally get the final results, which is minimum amount of waste. So I'm going to run this and show you the final results. So as you can see here, if I stop the solver, this is the optimized uh, result we will have here. And if we go to the first step, this is the worst it created randomly which is going to have maximum waste. This is like better solution and it optimizes uh, it further until it reaches this minimum solution we have here. Uh, obviously, this is not like the best. We can uh, change this a little bit. For example, if we want to, uh, we can bake these curves. Maybe, for example, you want to optimize it based on the, the sheets you have on something like that. Uh, we can optimize that further, but this is like the fastest way without really having complicated code to get the final results and uh, make this for fabrication. Okay, let's get started from scratch and learn this step by step. 